Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Martinez here. I'm the host of Operation Agency Freedom. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about something that has just been getting under my skin. It's holding a lot of you back. Uh, ultimately, it's a huge mistake that agencies are making when they're making their hiring. So if you're out there looking for people, if you're looking to bring in amazing A players who can help you scale your agency fast, and if you're growing and you're struggling with finding those A players, then definitely pay attention to this episode. It's going to be a quick one, but I've got some very, very valuable tips that are going to help you. One in particular, of course, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to this episode so that you can get all the other episodes that are coming as soon as you can, as soon as possible. You'll be in the know, as they say. So with that being said, let's head over to the episode. I almost said interview. All right, guys, you know, I'm really, really passionate about hiring and finding amazing people. It's one of the things that we do here at Dude, and it's one of the things that I think that we do very, very well. However, we have a lot more practice than most agencies do when it comes to hiring, and we build out a very, very thorough process, and we've got three people in the department that all they do is hiring. So we're pretty good at it. You know, we just got a lot of reps doing it. But there is one huge mistake that I see that agencies are making when they're they're trying to bring on a team member. And maybe it's just one team member, you know, like most of the time an agency is bringing on one, maybe like two people, a quarter, maybe a month, you know, they're not hiring crazy amounts of people like what we do. However, this best practice is universal, no matter whether you're hiring one or a thousand people. So drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. The best practice is make the offer fast. Like it's driving me insane because I'm seeing agencies that are evaluating all these people and then they have the right person, but then they kind of second guess themselves. And so they got to discuss it more and like, you know, do all these additional, essentially just proving to themselves that they really do have the right person. And then a week or goes by, sometimes two weeks goes by and they haven't made the offer. And then what happens? The person takes a job somewhere else and you lost out on that team member. So if you are taking more than like two days to make the offer after you do the final interview, that is a massive, massive problem. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You go through all this time and effort and money to find great people. And then you're letting them slip through your fingers because you can't make a decision fast enough. So you have to be ready to make the offer, like literally in that final round of the interviews. This is what we do. So we have at least four people interview that candidate. Everybody is interviewing for maybe 15 to 30 minutes. So not a lot of time. They're interviewing about a specific aspect. Sometimes it's technical. Sometimes it's values. You know, there's a, a number of different topics. After that meeting, like immediately after everybody does the interviews, they all get together and they, they ask, you know, is this somebody that I would want on my team? Everybody has to say yes. And then the second question is, is this somebody that I would want that I would be comfortable with working for one day if they were to become my manager? And everybody has to say yes to both of those questions. If anybody says no, the candidate is automatically dismissed. It has to be universal that everybody says yes. And like excited, yes. Not just like, yeah, yeah, you know, they're good enough. Like excited, this is the perfect person. That happens immediately after the interview. If everybody says yes, make the offer. Do not wait. If you have other candidates, like line up all the other candidates on the same freaking day. And then you can say yes, no, yes, no, yes, no to everybody. I'm not saying that you like if you have four interviews for the same person on the same day and it's the final round of interviews, I'm not saying that you have to say yes to the very first person, but at least decide on paper. Yes, this person has the skills. And then you go through that process and let's say all four are yeses. Then you can decide which of the four is the best. And then you hire that person. You make the offer that day. You cannot wait. You can't do it. Everybody else is hiring the same people or they're recruiting and hiring the same people that you are recruiting and hiring. The longer you wait, the higher the chances are that you're going to lose that person. So here's the second best practice. And I'm going to let you guys get out of here. The second best practice is if you have a ton of people in the final round of interviews, you are not scrutinizing these people hard enough in the interview process. So we have seven steps in our interview process. We typically have 42 people that start the interview process for every one person that we hire. And the reason is that we are so, so meticulous about evaluating these people. They go through the same steps, the same tests every single time. It's really freaking hard. 
it's really hard to get hired with us. It should be really hard to get hired with you. This is the way that you only hire A players. Do we get it right every single time? No. You know, maybe two out of 100 people are not going to be a good fit, but that's okay. That's why we have a probationary period, 90 days. But if you recognize that you have all these people in the final stages and it's costing everybody that's doing the evaluations all this time, it basic to me, what it's saying is that you didn't scrutinize these folks before getting to the final process. Keep in mind, dude, 42 to one. If you're like, <laughs> we interview five people and then we hire two of them, I'm telling you, you're hiring the wrong people. It should be hard to get hired with your agency. If you have very, very high standards, which I hope that you do, because if you want A players, you need to have high standards. But if you have high standards, it should be really hard to get into your agency. That's it, plain and simple. So make the offers really, really fast, like same day, boom, make the offer. Get them signed, bring them in, get them started, right? Second one is if you have too many people in the final rounds, you need to go back and look at how are we evaluating these people and really make it hard. There should be technical tests. There should be personality tests. There should be multiple interviews, phone, Zoom. There should be many, many steps to get to that final round. And then that way you've already proven that everybody has all these other talents and skills. And really it's just making sure that these are going to be great people that fit within the culture that are going to help us out, get that, get it, you know, that understand what it is that you're looking to build as an agency. And then you'll have great people. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have a great one. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, it would mean so much to me if you could share it with your friends, family, and basically anyone who will find the same value in this episode that you did. And to get the latest from me, then let's definitely connect on social media. You can go to Facebook, facebook.com forward slash dude agency or Instagram at dudeagency.io, or you can check us out on YouTube on our YouTube channel. And then of course you can always visit our website at dudeagency.io where you can see all of our other episodes of Operation Agency Freedom. You can also register for any live trainings that we have going on on how to run a highly profitable agency. And of course you can see how we help digital agencies with the people, the processes and the education so that they can take on more projects and scale profitably. Thanks again and I will see you next time.